Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Homebrew the Funerary. Okay, so today is the day after my yesterday's whip beer brew day, uh, which I didn't enjoy at all, and uh, I was a bit iffy about even doing this brew day today. Uh, just got home from work, I can't really be bothered, but I'm doing it for a friend, and it's my Odinson Stout, which he really, really likes, the fool, and I thought to myself, yesterday, the I mess about with raw ale and different sized pots and too much water here and not enough water there and I thought so why don't I just go back a step and uh, go back to the one pot method with the pump but with the better sparge arm so I'm going to uh, set it up with just the one pan and uh, I'm going to give it a run with that today and the other thing for the two pot though uh, what I need is a bigger pot I think a 15 or 20 litre pot because two 12 litre pots doesn't cut it at all I need something bigger for um, so I can get two demijohns worth because I'm looking to scale up but until I can get two proper full demijohns worth I'm not going to bother um, so today then uh, the recipe for my Odinson stout is the same as always so it's 900 grams of Maris Otter uh, that's 150 grams of flaked oats 150 grams of pale chocolate malt and 150 grams of crystal 300 which is actually crystal 254 um, and uh, then in the, uh, when it starts boiling, I'm going to use 10 grams of Challenger at 45 minutes. I'm only going 45 minute boils now. And then I'm going to use US05 because the Gervin GV12 yeast, I think it was, uh, wasn't working for me at all. It was only getting 3.8%. Although it did pack quite a kick. My friend had a couple of bottles of it the other night and uh, uh, yeah, he was gone pretty quickly. Um, which is unusual for him. But we're going to try a different yeast uh, because I've heard tell it just... Uh, gives me a better, uh, a better alcohol uh, content, a little bit higher, more in style and uh, so we're just about uh, coming up to temperature. I am using the small uh, ring on my uh, oven, on my stove top there because if I put it on to uh, just under 6 o'clock on the dial uh, it holds 66 degrees absolutely perfectly and, and I'm right happy with that. So uh, just waiting for the water to come to boil and uh, this is going to be the longest section. Everything else is going to be proper short and I'm hoping to get it done under seven minutes for a brew day. Okay, so we're at temperature now, which is 70 degrees and we're going to mash in. You'll notice that I've moved the spar jar out of the way, unlike in the last video where I made a right cock and just left it where it was, didn't need to do that. Okay, sparge arm in place and all we need to do now is open that valve, open the other valve, stick our thermometer back in, there we'll do, that's what temperature we're at, and three, two, one, Okay, bang on 66. Let's go for mashing for an hour. Lovely jubbly. Okay, so half hour in, and that's the sort of colour of it. That's not too bad at all. For half an hour in, it's getting nice and dark. It's not clean yet, but uh, I'm sure it'll get there. Okay, so that's the mash done. Uh, I'm laughing because the bloke I'm brewing a beer for is here. Um, but he can't come in front of the camera because his magnificence would burn the lens out. So, uh, at the moment then, I'm just going to quickly take this spar jar off, which has worked wonderfully. I can go in the sink to be washed, and then I just need to lift the grains out and let them drip for 10 minutes or so. Well there we go, 10 minutes and then we can start to boil. Okay so that's the uh, drip over, so I've got as much water as I'm going to get there. So all I need to do is take that off there, put it in there and I'm putting that and composting my greenhouse. 
see what happens. It might kill everything in sight, but uh, we'll do that. So now all we need to do is get this boiling. And when it comes to boil, I've got me 10 grams of Challenger Ops, and in it goes. Okay, so we're up to boil now. Um, and all we need to do is gonna let it boil for 45 minutes. And I've got 10 grams of Challenger uh, frozen block leaf hops to go in and uh, in half an hour we'll put a little bit of a teaspoon of whirl flock in and then it's time to start cooling her down. In she goes. Okay so we're about 15 minutes from the end now so here's my bit of an end of a teaspoon of whirl flock and that goes in and bubbles around and collect all sorts of nonsense proteins and hopefully clear the beer up a little bit. Okay, so that's the boil over, 45 minutes. I add 10 grams of Challenger at 45 minutes and then I put some whirl flock in 15 minutes from the end. And now all I need to do is dish out the, uh, the hops if I can. And then that can go on there, which is out, so that's really hot. And now all I need to do is put it in sink, take this end off, put it in sink and uh, cool it down. Right, so we're cooling down now and I don't have a work chiller, so what I do is um, I cool the outside of the pan, which has the surface area of a work chiller pipe that's 25 foot long. So I give it a spin and uh, I keep moving the cold water, which is currently, because it's December, probably about 10 degrees, maybe 8 degrees, but so it should cool down pretty quickly. And then I'll whirlpool it, give it a good spin, leave it for 20 minutes or so, half an hour, um, and then it's time to transfer it into the demijohns. Okay, so we've cooled her down, and uh, we've taken a little bit of a sample, and we'll give her a bit of a spin. Uh, the starting gravity of the last Odinson was 10.45. This one, oh, is a little better. It is 10. 40, I'm going to say, I'm going to say 1048, so um, that's better than last time, so that worked well for me, that spa jam, I think I might have got a little bit better efficiency out of it, so all I need to do now is whirlpool it and leave it for half an hour and then put her in the demijohn, and you whirlpool like this. Right, so all we do now is we need to get this spinning round, I don't know if you can see it on the camera but it's pulled up a ton of particulate there from the what's left in the wort and so we get it spinning, that's not very good, I'm going to get something better and we need to get a nice whirlpool going, a vortex going in the middle don't know whether you can see that or not we need to get a nice vortex going in the middle there and what will eventually happen is something to do with physics will pull all the rubbish and all the particles in the wort into the centre where the vortex is and then you leave it for 20 minutes or so, half an hour and uh, you should find that it clears up really nicely and we should get a nice clear wort. So I'm going to put my lid on and we'll come back in half an hour and put her in the demijohn. Okay so I've let it sit now for half an hour or so and now all I'm going to do is I'm going to siphon it from there into there and I should get, I've got more than five litres in there, so I should get up to here which is where I'm looking for and then just pitch some USO5 yeast. Let's see how clean it is or not. you can see in there but you can see all the rubbish that's left at the bottom and what I've got is I've taken all the nice clean wort off the top and into my demijohn. Okay so here's the last thing then and all I need to do is add in the Safale US 05 yeast and I'm going to do about a third of a pack or so. I'll uh, eyeball it but about a third of a pack just bob her in. A bit more maybe. There we go. I'll do no more than that. And then just need to put the bung in and give her a shake. And that's her done. There's a nice four and a half litres of Odinson stout. 
1048 starting gravity, uh, lever under stairs and at their brewery for another couple of weeks and uh, back to the old one pot system so that's the end of the day let's uh, say goodbye and, you know you can like and you can subscribe and uh, why don't you go out and take a step backwards